Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over all of the center cases for Skew. So, uh, just for a little bit of a reference and introduction about Skew, I have a 5.1 official average and I average globally about 4.5, so I'm by no means fast. But I was looking at YouTube and I realized that no one has a video that covers every single center case, so I thought it would be a good idea to make a video of my own. And I'll show you the algs and kind of intuitively explain how they work. And also give links to the algs, how I learned the algs in the description. But to get started, I want to share with you the cubes I'll be using. Uh, this cube is the Cyclone Boys Magnetic Cube. It's a very nice cube. I would say it can compete with the Allian for the best cube on the market. Uh, you can listen to the turning. I'm getting quite a bit of lockups because I'm not very used to the turning on it. Um, it's a really nice cube and it's very smooth, although it kind of pops sometimes, so that's only the only annoying thing about it. Um, the other cube I'm going to be using is my main, which is the Allian. I also have concave centers on it, so you can listen to the turning here. This is also a really nice cube, and my turning just seems a little bit off right now, so yeah, I apologize for that, but let's get started. Okay, for this first case, we have one that everyone should be familiar with, and that's a U-perm. So a U-perm looks like this, and you can identify where to start the algorithm um, from the opposite center, uh, corresponding to its corner, so you can see this is green on blue, and it can be anything, like it could be orange on red, or I guess white on yellow, but we're going to hold it with that opposite center facing us and we're going to do a sledge like this then we're going to do a rotation and then another sledge so sledge, Y2, sledge okay for an H perm what you're going to do is hold it in any position with an opposite center and you're going to do a sledge then you're going to rotate and do a hedge and then rotate again and do a sledge. So it's simply sledge, Y2, hedge, Y2, sledge. Okay, next up is a Z perm, and there's two ways to do it. One is almost a beginner way, and the other one is the typical way you could do it. So for the beginner way, we're going to be using a conjugate Z perm. Also, this is an option, you don't have to use it, but I would recommend it if you want to learn a less confusing alg. So you're going to find centers that are. Um, need to be swapped like this. So not centers need to be swapped like this. This this doesn't swap. So just like this, and you're gonna move the one in the right up, and then a triple sledge or three sledges. So one, two, three, and then it'll be one move like that. So again, it's a conjugate Z perm, and I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, the next one is the more advanced solution, and that is you're holding the Z-perm like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to go up, up, and then you're going to move the yellow center over, move this side down, move the yellow center back, then down, up, up, up. So once again, up, up, move the yellow center over, down, yellow center back, down, and then up. And for me, I lock up quite a bit on this alg just because I'm not very good at finger tricking it, but it's really good if you can do it well. Oh, this is a quick editor's cut. So when I said the yellow center, I meant just the U center or whatever center's on top. Or in other words, whatever center is the opposite of the layer you built. So that could be blue, then the U center there would be, or the yellow center would be green. Okay, moving on, we have... Um, more difficult cases now. These are called O-perms, and there's two of them, so I'll show you how to do them. Uh, there's a simple way to remember them. There's one that goes counterclockwise and the one that goes clockwise. Instead of trying to just, you know, uh, recognize it like that, what you can do is whatever layer you built, like for example, if I built the white layer like I did here, then I'll be looking at the yellow center or the opposite center that should be on top. So I found it. It's the yellow one. And all you have to do is move that in such a way that it um, basically conjugates a U-perm. So I moved it like this, now I have a conjugate U-perm like that. 
And over here for this one, I do the same if I move it here. Now I have a conjugate U-perm. So if I moved it right here, then you're just going to do a U-perm algorithm um, with the opposite center or the U-center in the back. So I'll do a U-perm, and then it'll just be one move like that. For this one, it'll just it's the same exact thing. You're just moving it the opposite direction over here, then doing the U-perm, and then fitting it back. Okay, next we have swirl perms. The first one here, the U center is on the right. This is, in my opinion, the good case. So these are conjugate triple sledges. And for the first one, um, if the U center is on the right, then you're going to do an R prime into three sledges. And then one move back. So R prime, and then triple sledge, and then an R. Uh, there is an optimal finger trick that I like to use where you actually cancel the first R prime. Because if you do this, then it's just another R prime. So you can do R2 prime, and then that cancels one move. And it's your place. Like that. So I like that alg. Um, for this next one, this is in my opinion the bad one. And the U center is on the left. So for this one, you're going to do um, one move as an R. And then triple sledge R prime. So R. Three sledges and then R prime. This one is honestly the easiest out of all of them. So it's a four center case. It's called a triple sledge. And I can recognize this as the U center is kind of in the front here. And there's two opposite centers on either side. And there's a solve center in the back. So you hold it with that U center in front. And you're just going to do simply three sledges. Just like that. Okay, for the first five center case, um, there's only one opposite center. And, yeah, so it's really easy to recognize. Only one opposite center. So what you're going to do is hold the U center in the back here and do a U perm from that position. And then that will lead, leave you with just, <laughs> just the U perm. So it's just two U perms. Okay, for this next one, there's two opposite centers right next to each other. So for this one, it's also two U-perms. Um, there's a better way to do it. Uh, you could do it from any angle with these in front. Like, you could do it from here or here. But the opposite center that is in the same kind of, like, line as the U-center, you should hold that either on the left or the right and do the one adjacent to the U-center first. So do the U-perm there. And then you'll get a U-perm here. So the reason this is better is if you do the one that's uh, across from the U center, then it will cause it to have a U perm going this way instead of going this way. So it's a lot harder to find it and then regrip. Okay, the last two cases are the nasty five center cases, and I learned these from Carter's video, so I'll leave it down in the description if I can't um, teach you how to do this very well because they are pretty hard to figure out. But there's two of them. Uh, the one where the U center is whatever centers in the U center is going to the left. So, for example, you have blue here and it's going to the left here. Um, so, it's hard to explain, but the U center that's supposed to be there, you look at it from that angle and that center is on, going to the left. So, this one's good. You're going to hold it like this. You're going to take out this corner like that. Then, you're going to do a B move in this orientation. Then, you're going to bring that corner back in. Rotate, and then right here with this corner, you're going to do a sledge. And that will give you one more move. So, it's a really nice alg. Um, the next one is the worst one. And this is when, if you hold it in that same orientation, the U-center is going to the right. So for this one, what you're going to do is insert this corner. You hold it in that same way. You'll insert that corner. And you'll rotate right here. And do R, D prime. Then insert this corner here, like that, and then it should be B, R. I hope this was helpful, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.